Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, weird things are happening at Microsoft sometimes. And one of them is about the fact that if you follow my news items, if you follow my channel, or any tech news in general, you might have noticed that quietly Microsoft had removed 24 different Xeon processors from uh, support to Windows 11. Um, a few months ago, and we were wondering why did they remove those, and there was no real explanation, no reason behind it, and they were a lot of them were in the eighth generation Intel where it's supposed to still be you know good, and um, suddenly today it seems that the latest update, and this comes from Desk Modder, the uh, German. Twitter user that finds all sorts of things from Microsoft. He says that, uh, well, it's back on the list of supported hardware. So, um, you know, a lot of people are kind of wondering why did they remove it? Was it they removed it and too much, too many people came back and said, whoa, whoa, you can't remove that or maybe Intel itself, but it could also be, and that's my thinking that something was not right with that set of processors and that they temporarily put a hold on them uh, before putting it back with probably an update that fixed something. Uh, that would be my thinking, that maybe just something wasn't right. They removed the support just to time to fix it and put the support back. Uh, I would have also have probably prevented Windows 11 from you know upgrading itself on machines that have that processor so as not to break something. But anyways, you know, it's one of those so bizarre things that Microsoft does from time to time. For the rest, the minimum requirements are pretty much the same as they were at the beginning uh, when Windows 11 21H2 came into uh, the world. And um, for now, we still have no listing of anything, minimum requirements, technically for Windows 12. Um, one of the minimum requirements we think is going to be an official one is a solid state drive. Without a solid state drive that can have Windows on, um, you won't be able to get Windows 12. But for the rest, most think that the minimum requirements of Windows 12 will be the same. But it will add probably caveats like, you know, uh, if you have an NPU, you'll be able to have some AI stuff. And who knows? It's coming up. I mean, we uh, are a year away from something new, a new Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.